Good evening, friends. Great day to all of you. So, friends, I have a big announcement. Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen has just released a brand new action plan for Congress. This plan will help the American people receive assistance and stimulus checks much quicker. The next batch of relief payments are also beginning to be sent out today. Dear friends, please make sure you watch until the end of this video for the latest stimulus news. I will be giving away a $75 Walmart gift card four days a week to say thank you. And if you would like to enter the giveaways, all you have to do is click and like several of my videos and then comment below the keyword of each video that you watch. Friends, the more videos that you watch and leave a comment on, the greater your chance of winning the giveaways. Now that President Biden signed the Democrats' expansive climate, tax, and health care bill into law, Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen has directed the IRS to develop a plan that within six months outlining how the tax agency will overhaul its technology, customer service, and hiring processes. According to Secretary Yellen, she stated, the improvements are meant to end the two-tiered tax system where most Americans pay what they owe, but those at the top of the distribution often do not. Janet Yellen's memo outlines the importance of modernizing the IRS's computer systems and ensuring the tax agency has an adequately staffed workforce now that the tax collector is set to receive nearly $80 billion over the next 10 years. That funding is needed for more than technology. At least 50,000 IRS employees are expected to retire over the next five years. Janet Yellen has called for the IRS to fully resolve the inventory backlog and make significant improvements in taxpayer services to overhaul an information technology system that is decades out of date, and also to invest and train employees so they can identify the most complex evasion schemes by those at the top. This year's tax season resulted in the worst backlog in history for the beleaguered IRS, which has also been tasked with administering crisis-related programs including sending out stimulus checks, emergency rental assistance, and advanced child tax credit checks. In its report to Congress, the National Taxpayer Advocate, which is an independent watchdog within the IRS, also said taxpayers have experienced longer wait times on the telephone and delays in processing paper returns have been running six months to one year. Yellen last week sent instructions to the IRS leadership not to increase audit rates on Americans earning under $400,000 a year. Also friends, Indiana tax refund checks are being printed and that means money will be soon on the way for residents of Indiana who have waited months for their automatic taxpayer refund payments. State Auditor Tara Klutz said, printing of the first round of 1.7 million checks is underway, and the first recipients should get their money by the weekend. Indiana residents who did not receive the initial automatic taxpayer refund via direct deposit have been waiting weeks for the $125 payments, which were originally set to go out in July before being pushed back to August. State officials have tried to put a positive spin on the delay, noting that lawmakers approved a second taxpayer refund during the special session. That means the checks will include the original $125 plus the additional $200 approved as part of the state's inflation relief plan. While individual taxpayers are expected to receive checks for $325, Married couples who file jointly will receive $650. For taxpayers who received the initial $125 payment via direct deposit, you will also receive your $250 via the same method. The Indiana Department of Revenue is handling the direct deposits, while the Auditor of State's Office is handling the checks. Business advocacy groups lobbied hard against a 15% minimum tax rate for large corporations that just passed Congress 
which is part of the Inflation Reduction Act, saying it was terrible policy that would reduce economic growth and make America poorer. However, Wall Street analysts say the legislation will not dramatically affect company earnings or their future investments. For companies that make more than $1 billion a year, will now have to pay a minimum tax rate of 15%, as well as 1% on stock buybacks. Those tax reforms aimed mostly at the largest U.S. corporations will reduce the federal deficit by an estimated $300 billion over the next decade. Catherine Schultz, Vice President of Tax and Fiscal Policy at Business Roundtable, called the 15% minimum corporate tax a terrible policy. Friends, the keyword for this video is Field of Dreams. If you would like to enter the next Walmart gift card giveaway, please make sure you click in like several of my videos and then comment below the keyword, which is Field of Dreams, and additional keywords of any video of mine that you watch. Friends, please make sure that you are subscribed to my channel. The more videos that you watch, the greater your chance of winning the giveaways. Time, and as Senator Barrasso was saying, what people are feeling in their personal economy, that the U.S. economy isn't just struggling, it is shrinking. Buying power for households, shrinking. Options and choices, shrinking. If the numbers say what we think they will, we'll see the second consecutive month of a shrinking GDP and another month of runaway inflation. Just a few hours ago, we learned that consumer confidence dropped again this month. Expectations are down again. These are the warning signs of a recession. The White House doesn't want us to say it. The pundits don't want to say it. But that's the reality that Joe Biden has created. You know who is saying it? Thousands of Tennesseans. Because, Mr. President, they are living it every day. Now, I would suggest to my colleagues that if they find themselves questioning this reality, that they should get out of the city and spend some time talking to people that live in their states people that don't exist in the police. Well, my magnificent and beautiful friends, that is the end of my daily stimulus update video. Thank you, friends, for joining me here today. I greatly appreciate all of you who are watching my videos. Thank you, friends, and have a wonderful and blessed evening.